Hi, we're here today at Daytona in 2013 with Heather Pegram. Hi, Heather. How are you doing today? Hey, good. Doing good. So uh, tell me how uh, the race went yesterday. Well, the qualifying started out yesterday. I guess there was like 30 guys that went down and one near the chicane. And so after the qualifying was over, I was back here in the pits and found out that Larry had gone down. So um, it's kind of disheartening because we had a we had a pretty good start to the year, but then last night the guys had to work real late putting the bike back together just to get it all ready to roll again today. So. Nice. So how's everything going now? Are you up and ready? Good. They were all they were you know he went out today and he qualified sixth. So. We're ready for a good start, stuff it in the corner, get up on the podium. That's awesome. So uh, tell me, how did that make you feel finding out that he went down? I mean, as a wife, how, how did that make you feel like then and there? I was panicked a little bit, but I, for Larry, I just know, like, he's put everything, his heart and everything into this year, this race on this on this Yamaha. He's totally dedicated to it, and for him to go down was like, oh. Didn't need to hear that at the end of the day. I was more worried for him, just how he was feeling. It is inevitable and it happens, but today's gonna be a good day. We're gonna have good positive thoughts and get out there and do some good. Yeah, excited about it. <laughs> so um, where is he at right now as far as qualifying? Where, where did it put him? So he's second row, second row, sixth. So, and you know, this is a new bike for us, Yamaha R1, it's a new year. So it's gonna take a little time, but um, I think we're gonna do real well. Last year he started back a lot further and he ended up fourth. So today, you start in six, I think we've got a good chance to push it up in there. That's awesome. Well, fingers are crossed and hoping that you all finish all together in a group. Good. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. All right, everyone, here we are, Bike Week 2013. Uh, we're here with Larry Pegram, super bike racer. Uh, yesterday, Larry, you had a number three on the Yamaha, number three today. How's it making you feel beyond that new bike this year? Oh, it's really good. You know, my foremost insurance Yamaha seems to be working really well. We got two thirds this weekend, so it's a good start to the season. Um, kind of measure where we're at. We got to do a little bit of work to get up to first, but we're close, so I'm, I'm really happy. So you got twice on the box this weekend. What are some of the things that some of the viewers might not know that you went through to get to the place where you guys were in that position? Ah, uh, God. Hold on. Let me get rid of this. Everybody's always calling after you do good. We just been working really hard, you know. I made this deal with Yamaha clear back in August. We started working the deal out, and I knew that that was the bike we needed to be on if we wanted to be capable of winning races. So, just uh, working with Keith McCarty at Yamaha and everybody else, and uh, foremost came back on as title sponsor, so we were good to go and made the deal with Yamaha. And now it's all turning out really good. Well, we're very happy for you. But give us a little more detail. What are some of the challenges you guys faced, like what what you went through in practice? Well, you know, we, we were testing the bike already out at Chuckwalla, and I decided to throw it down out there, too. So I, I, and of course, when it fell, it just slid across the racetrack, hit the dirt and flipped and smashed everything. And then we came here the other day in the chicane on Thursday, and I crashed and smashed it completely, totaled the bike, basically. So that kind of shot my confidence down a little bit. You know, I had wasted two motorcycles before the season really ever got started. So Yesterday in the race, I was being a little too tentative, and uh, getting third yesterday helped a lot. And then today, I was riding a little bit harder, but you know, Hayes and Her or uh, Hayes and Cardenas just had a little more pace than me. And then Hayes dropped out, so we ended up racing with Heron, and uh, he got us right there at the line. Yeah, that was a great pass. We I saw when you passed uh, Heron over in the the International Horseshoe. That's a great, great pass you guys had there. Did you just have a little bit more than you, or you just were you being a little bit more conservative? It seems like. No, I mean, he just, he, his bike, I think, you know, he's so small, and this place is all about from the chicane to start finish, and he had a little bit on me between the chicane and start finish, so I wasn't going to beat him from behind or in front. I knew that pretty much, but I knew I had a better chance of maybe getting a draft on him to the line, but I knew if he was behind me, he could draft right by me, so I tried to get behind him and draft him, but, you know, we just came up short. Larry, we thank you for your time. Everyone, don't forget... Check out Larry Pegram this year. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with on that Yamaha, that factory Yamaha he's got, foremost racing. Um, look forward to your great things from you this year, Larry. Thanks so much. All right, thank you. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Rider's Edge TV. We're here at Bike Week 2003. Uh, 2003. <laughs> yeah, right? Mm. Wow. Flashback. <laughs> Flashback. We're going back to the future with Rider's Edge TV. Um. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs>